Woodlow Middle School is a purpose-built middle school completed in 1976. At the moment we have about 300 children on roll between ages 8 and 12 years from different home backgrounds, different strengths and uh, it makes a very balanced sort of school to work within. It's a cluster school which means it's one of a number of schools in Warwickshire linked to a special school or core school which provides outreach support to enable children with special educational needs to be integrated into mainstream schools. We have an attachment of one full-time member of staff and we can have sent to our school up to ten children with a statemented moderate and in difficulty need uh, and they are called cluster provision pupils and they work within our mainstream classes with the support of the cluster support teacher. My responsibility for cluster children at the moment is um, for eight children who've got statements of moderate learning difficulties. They're spread in four different classes throughout the school and my responsibility is to provide the resources, to provide the support, to provide advice to the class teachers of those children. My role within a class takes a variety of modes. Sometimes, depending on the needs, my role is one of support. I'm working alongside the class teacher. Sometimes I take the lead and the class teacher is supporting me. Paper was by putting some weight on it. That's right. OK, then, how strong is a tube made out of cartridge paper? Does the shape make any difference? Does the shape, the height, the diameter, does it make any difference at all? I don't know. We'll have to find it out. I'm Johnson and I have been planning together this term in, in a very special way that perhaps is quite new to the way we have been doing it in the past. In fact, it's only this year that we've been getting this support within the classroom because of the cluster input. The lesson was organised with mixed ability groups. The range of needs is quite diverse. And when Anna and I were thinking about the sort of activity that would be appropriate for all children to meet all needs, we had to think of one that matched all the pupils' different paces and styles of learning, etc. And so the task had to be a very open-ended task, whereby those children with learning difficulties could feel part of the activity they could feel safe within that environment to carry it out and have some sense of achievement at the end of it. So the objectives for, for the children with the learning difficulties would have been very different for those, the more able children, um, in terms of one might look at the communication skills that certain children might have working with in a group situation or the cooperation aspect. How much is in there now? 280. Right. Oh, that's a big one. As with all schools, we have a range of young people who through their school life, either for part of it or for the whole of it, have a special educational need. These are, in some respects, seen as separate from our cluster support children but their needs are met with in, in the same ways, the way in which we view them and the way in which we would seek support or provide support within our school. We have, as all schools should, a special needs coordinator. My brief is for those 20% of children who are in mainstream schools and to ensure that our policy with regard to special educational needs is implemented. Obviously, um, the, the um, special needs coordinator and myself have to work very closely together um, because a lot of our concerns are common. We meet regularly, uh, we discuss the children, we discuss uh, uh, the assessment of children, we discuss the identifying of children with special educational needs. Um, so, th yes, there is a tremendous overlap. Um, and obviously we um, share our resources and ideas. I thought a good extension for, for 
children with the learning difficulties would be to go around and look in the environment mm, yeah. of where yeah. tubes are used. Which Liaison are... with the classroom teachers is very difficult at times. We're all teaching full time and it, it tends to be at lunch times and after yeah. school. The, the, the actual method of recording for that would be very you know, visual. I think working in a collaborative way with another person can be very threatening. I know that as a class teacher myself, I did find that very difficult. But as you work together outside the classroom, you get to know each other better. So your relationship within the classroom is, is smoother. It, it's not a question of just another body being plonked in your classroom. Same shape. The topic that we've decided on is discovery. And I think the way we must start, as we usually do, is, is by brainstorming that uh, subject. Um, we decided at the beginning of this academic year that the planning would involve the whole school. Kind of now we're working we to together, we're working collaboratively. And when the first um, umbrella topics are decided, and then we do brainstorming sessions, my role is to, to look at what might be needed later on down the line. We've got an idea of what we're looking for in the children who've got learning difficulties right from the beginning. It's no good waiting until first thing on a Monday morning and saying, what can I do? We've got to have thought about that long, long before that. But by putting them together, he said, yes, I've tessellated them. They will tessellate those triangles. That those, he's now decided, are the same triangles. We all started from the same point, which is something I try to do all the time, because I think you've got to start at a level where every child in the class is going to be confident at tackling the activity and extend from that one point. The tessellate, well, what does tessellate mean? The match. Is that what it means? There are two cluster school children within that class, although they've got an official label um, as close to school children, they're really just part of my class. They're two children in my class who've got needs as great as anybody else in that class. 180 plus 90 is... 200 and... 270 plus 90. Uh, 360. Because I have those close to children in my class, I've got to liaise closely with Anne so that she knows what's being planned what's being done and it's also sometimes useful because it's an activity she can take and use with other children in other classes. Every child in my class has, has individual needs and if I don't see them as that then I lose sight of, of what I'm doing with them. So I've got to talk to them, I've got to listen to them. I think that's perhaps far more important than talking to them. Our whole school policy is, is based on the principle that uh, a school is a place which helps children improve their knowledge, their experiences, their imagination, uh, help towards moral values and judgments, and to enjoy things. We see all children as individuals, and we see their needs best met within mainstream schools, along with their peer group.